when we file close, we go back to our file open dialog, as you recall. And uh, let's go look at examples civil this time. Because we still have to do 2D work. And you notice that if we go over here, we get a little um, idea. We've got the survey file, design file, the digital terrain file, the horizontal alignments and things that just exactly as you'd expect. But let's go to sheets. That's kind of jumping directly to the end result of a uh, civil project. We have to produce our uh, design document, our DD docs, or uh, design documents that go out in the, the drawing set that goes to the field. And so you can see here we've got uh, the general notes you'd always have. This is Interstate 9 Road Improvements Project. Over here is the sheet index of all the sheets that we have, the sheet set that we have. And you can see there's a cover sheet. That's what we're in. That's what we're looking at. There's a plan and profile for this highway southbound, northbound, a road that comes in, typical section details, uh, and the like. So as we hover over these, you notice, do you notice that little, there's a little blue squiggle right below uh, the word profile there. If you see that, and that's just uh, our links. Those are um, through Project Explorer, our engineering links. So we link drawings together so that we can easily move around. So let's look at... Um, what shall we look at? Let's look at the catch basin details, for example. So if I, if I go over here until that little uh, insignia comes up, and then I right-click and right-click, then you see here's all the things I can do. And by the way, while we're on right-click, MicroStation more and more uses right-clicks. Uh, they're called context-sensitive menus. So wherever you are, you can always kind of right-click and see what's going on and and... MicroStation tries to figure out what it thinks you might need to do. So by right-clicking here, we want to open the link. So just by a right-click and click on Open Link and bingo, I left the cover sheet, and now I'm in the uh, Drawing Details sheet. Okay, now suppose that we want to do our own detail. And maybe for this project, we have reinforced concrete pads, around sprinkler heads uh, along the highway. Uh, and so we want a standard detail for that. Now normally we would just go to a new file and create it, but for the sake of uh, what we're doing here, let's just go ahead and uh, zoom out a bit and we'll move over and make some space and then we'll scale it down and put it on our sheet later. But uh, for right now we're just going to make the, a little drawing. Uh, we're going to um, add a detail now for a sprinkler uh, protector. It's a reinforced concrete little pad that's 20 inches by 20 inch square in plan view. And then it has kind of a sloped uh, cross section. And so we're going to just draft the detail. This is drafting now. We're not doing 3D modeling. So here's our drawing tools. Uh, we're going to just uh, click on the rectangle. Uh, we'll go out uh, colon 20 colon, that means it's inches, uh, and we'll go up, colon, 20, and left click, and there's our perfect 20 by 20 rectangle. Notice we used uh, AccuDraw to do that, very easy to do precise uh, detailing with AccuDraw. So now we're going to, we want to come down, straight down and do our cross section. In order to do that, we'll use, uh, here we'll go with Play Smart Line, but um, we're going to press both left and right mouse button. See that giant tentative cursor comes snapping right to that corner. And I'm going to type the letter O on the keyboard for offset. And that just means I can use the AccuDraw uh, feature, that solid line, to be absolutely sure I'm going directly down. So very cool uh, little technique. And then I'm going to left click to begin my, my smart line that I'm drawing. And I notice uh, that the uh, uh, hole in the concrete there, I forgot to draw that, I'll go back and do that detail in a minute, uh, is 8 inches in diameter. 8 from our 20 uh, would leave 12, right? So it's going to be 6 inches either side. So this line in the cross section would be 6 inches. So I'll simply do uh, colon 6, left click. And it's, we're going to have it be at its thickest point, uh, six inches thick. 
So you notice when I come up here, did you see that little line right there? Uh, MicroStation AccuDraw keeps track of you, and as you draw, it'll suggest to you you may want to use the same dimension again. And so I don't have to type anything to make that precisely six inches tall. Now I'm going to right um, a click at this point and start a line over here. Notice AccuSnap jumps right to that end for me. And uh, using the heavy line there for AccuDraw, I'm going to type in colon four, left click, to make my four inch high uh, on the out outside of the pad. And then I can come over here and just uh, uh, let Accu uh, snap jump me right to the end, right click, and I've done my cross section. Now I uh, remember I, what we should have is the, the circle up here to represent the hole in the concrete. So I'm going to place a circle, and uh, the hole is eight inch for a that's for a rather uh, a large uh, uh, pipe to go down. Uh, and I'm going to come up here. Now I want to go to the center of this. So how would I do that? Well, the snaps are right down here. There's all the different types of snap, nearest, midpoint, and so forth. I want to go to the center. So I come here, right? And when I get on the edge, see my cursor goes on the edge. Notice AccuSnap jumps directly to the middle and see the little round thing that's telling me it's going to uh, the center. So then that's that easy, and now my radius is going to be, see the heavy uh, AccuDraw is there all the time. So if I'm going to do a radius, notice that heavy line, just put in 8-inch diameter, so put in colon 4 for radius, and left click, and there's my circle. Like about three or four clicks, we've precisely placed a circle at the center of the, the square pad. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in on my cross-section because we need to make um, a pattern that looks like concrete because it's a cutaway of view. So how would I do that? Well, I need to attach um, a uh, cell library. So I need to uh, come to the cell that was in element cells and file, attach a file, and uh, that's showing building cells, but I know where the patterns are the patterns are not in any discipline area. They're actually back up here in workspace system. So we can go to open up the system. That's the delivered general purpose for everybody. Uh, we can open that right up and we'll go to, see there's the cells right there. Look at all the cell libraries that come with the Microsoft, which is great. Now we'll want the uh, uh, area pattern uh, cells believe that's where I would get it. And there should be, there's concrete. Uh, let's use that one. Looks pretty good. I don't know if the scale's right, but it doesn't matter. We'll make it active for patterning. That'll be the active cell. And uh, we can move that out of the way. Now what we do, we're going to do is use the pattern area tool. Comes right off the drafting tools here. And uh, we just click on Pattern Area Tool. Uh, there's concrete already. And uh, click here. Uh, let's use this method. That, that would be click element. That's probably also would work. But let's use uh, do it by flood. That, then all we have to do is click anywhere in the middle of an area. It'll highlight the boundary that it sees. Left click, and there it is. Mm, that's not quite as dense as I'd like to make it from a draftsman point of view. So. I can press Control Z and undo that. Now remember, Control Z undo works everywhere, and you can go back as far as you want. Let's make the scale um, a little tighter. Let's make it 0.5. See how that works. And then still doing that, we click, and there. Yeah, that looks a little better. So we'll accept that. So now I can I can close my uh, uh, library. Don't need those. Scroll out a bit and see what we've got. Okay, so our drafting is moving right along. Now let's, uh, we're going to need to copy that. So we're going to need to come up to the main taskbar, which by the way is always open, and we're going to find mirror and go over to the mirror tool settings. Now we're going to mirror it about a vertical line, right? Not a horizontal, so a vertical line, and we want to be sure to make a copy. Um, so there we go. So it says identify the element. 
that you wish to, uh, uh, let's just identify that and see what happens. It looks like it's going to work. We can come right up here and using key point, if, see we're on key point snap right now. Key point is like the end, middle, and such. So we're going to come up and use the center uh, click of key point here. And there we've got it. You see we've got, we mirror imaged our uh, nice little cross section. And then we can finish it up uh, just drafting style. Uh, you know, we can close that or and close this across. Or we want our, uh, see this section is right through there. We put our section line here. Uh, and we would uh, finish with uh, some dimensions. Not sure the text size and everything is proper. Uh, you can tell it's really, really little. So that's no problem. We would simply go to Element, um, uh, Text, uh, and we would change the text. Uh, better check and see what we're using for dimension style, hadn't we? We're using Contour Label. Let's use Style None. No, no none of these pre-done civil styles. And we're going to see what size the text is, um, whether that's uh, overridden. It's not overridden, so that's telling us it's going to use whatever is the standard text setting. And we can find that element text textiles. Go to element textiles, and uh, for no particular, and now it's one eighth, which um, that's one eighth of an inch, and that's 20 inch. So let's make it about, uh, uh, let's check it out here. We'll just make it colon, um, Let's see how that works. That may be too big. You can see what we're doing though, and it, you just experiment and, and set up your standard, just what you really do, so that they uh, come out correctly. Okay, it's still too small. Well, you get the idea. This is how we go through that to do our dimensioning and our uh, cell libraries and our drafting. And then we would simply take this, you know, perhaps we want to move it a little closer and doctor it up. And then we'd either make a cell out of uh, this detail which is what these are. If you look at these that were already uh, on our sheet, see this is a, a, a detail cell, and this is a cell. So you can do that, there's lots of things. You can also make it just an image out of a book and use uh, the raster reference file uh, manager and reference a raster file or a photograph out of a book. And you compile those then on a sheet as we have here on our catch basin details, then you plot that out for the project and uh, away you go.